printing 50 double-sided pages of Talmud by heart. On another occasion, he won an international learning contest, flying to Israel for the final round. Living in New York gave him the opportunity to meet with and learn from the Rebbe. Blessed with the prodigious mind, he excelled in his studies, regularly authoring Talmudic insights in academic publications. Rivka Rosenberg was born to her parents, Shimon and Yehudit, in Afula, Israel, in 1980. She was a lively girl, and she managed to be heard, even as the middle child in the family of 11. I hoped those girls would fall behind in their studies. And she was very feisty. She spent her summers traveling to Jewish communities around the world, sharing her heritage. One summer was spent in Riga, Latvia. Decisive young woman that she was, she decided at a young age that she would devote her life to Schlitz. In 2001, boy and girl were introduced. After a few meetings, they decided it was a match. Shortly after their marriage, they made the decision that so many of their peers other young Chabad Lubavitch couples, heeding the Rebbe's call, they decided to leave their comfortable home and head out on Schlitz. The posting they chose was further and more difficult than most. As if they decided on Bombay, India. It wouldn't be easy, but they weren't looking for easy. Just before Hanukkah of 2003, they arrived in sprawling Bombay, the world's second most populous city. Their center was a small rented room in a three-star downtown hotel. They gave Torah classes in the small space and served Shabbos meals, although there was no kitchen. It quickly became an open house for backpackers, travelers, business people, thousand local members of the Indian Jewish community. Like their forefather Abraham thousands of years beforehand, who went to set up a tent to share food, drink, and his knowledge of the Creator in a spiritual wilderness. Couples served their fellow Jews, catering to their material and spiritual needs. Where would they get? God by hundreds of live chickens each week and prepare them himself. 
Rifki would give classes for women and make them feel welcome and at home. Gabi, with his endearing smile, would put guests at ease. He officiated at weddings, with milos, and bar mitzvahs. The price? Free. We're here for you, they would say with a smile. Their activities grew and grew, and before long it had come time to find a larger space for their quickly expanding center, which had become a hub for Jewish life in teeming Mumbai.